everyone, this is Chris Durker from the MacRare Marketing Department. Welcome to the MacRare Distributor Portal webinar. In this video, we're going to go through some of the portal's important features as well as how to set up a quote to give you an intro into navigating the portal to access the resources you need to effectively market and sell MacRare fans. To get started, you'll want to navigate to login.macrarefans.com. Since you have access to this webinar, you should already have a username and password. But if you have team members that need access as well, you can have them visit this page. And if you scroll down to the register option, you can click email marketing at macrofans.com and that'll send us an email and tell us that you're requesting a username and password and we'll get back to you shortly with that. Next step, you'll want to enter your username and password. Once you do that, you can click the login button to land you on the home page of the portal. On the home page, you'll see announcements and information with associated click-through links in the center. The information located in the center of the page is always the latest company news and info and promotions. Uh, right now we have Airtron, for example, and we're promoting that fan line, as well as Air Academy, and we're promoting that uh, training session for you guys to come and uh, get educated on our products, how to market, sell, and install, and troubleshoot them. At the very bottom of the page, you'll see our latest spin updates. Our latest spin is an email that we send out weekly and it contains announcements, updates, sales and marketing insights and all those things uh, keep you guys in the know and uh, provide helpful tips directly from here in Southern California. Now if we scroll back to the top of the home page, you'll notice two lines of links, two menus. Um, the top menu, you'll see the forum, Air Academy, performance, etc. Uh, you can also find most of these links at the very bottom of the page. These links can take you to important features of the distributor portal like the marketing request forms. And that's one area I'll point out right now. And this just allows you to request marketing collateral and assistance with marketing projects. So you just click on whichever option uh, you need help with and if you click on those you'll see there's forms on each and you can simply fill out one of those forms to provide uh, collateral or assistance with a project you're working on advertising helping you sell Mac or fans if we jump back to the home page uh, I'll just show you the uh, main menu and the main portal menu has a few different options and these are basically structured around um, different uh, facets of selling and maintaining and marketing our products. So you'll notice we have sales, uh, marketing, technical support, and then news, which is essentially uh, all the updates here at the bottom. It'll just give you uh, all of the updates that we have. If you hover over any one of the menu options, you'll notice that they're, uh, they're drop-down menus, and so you'll get a few other options uh, related to that menu item. So for example, we have Air Academy, which is listed under sales, uh, and sales information is just as it sounds, it's uh, related to pricing, uh, installation financing. Uh, we have a few different sales tools and we'll walk through the quoting tool uh, in one part of this webinar, uh, as well as competitive analysis, um, our AirViz tool, and some other features. And I'll jump into the sales page really quick just to give you a quick overview and show you some of the options we have there. Uh, the main thing you'll want to note is that the uh, the sales menu here is also on that is also on this page. And if you click any one of these options, it'll jump to that particular section section in the page. Um, pricing is the most important thing on here, but we also have information on installation. Uh, financing options, uh, our sales tools, and we also have a section on competitive analysis with uh, showing you how to sell against the competition, um, AirViz, which is our fluid dynamics modeling software, and uh, presentations that you can uh, take to architects and engineers, and also sales presentations that you can bring to uh, prospects. And we also have a section on selecting the appropriate fan, trying to determine what fans you should sell um, in certain applications. And then our sales documents, which just incorporates uh, specifications, submittals, uh, warranty information, that kind of stuff. Now, if we jump into marketing, you'll notice that marketing is uh, mostly related to, or the menu options are related to 
uh, marketing, which uh, you know incorporates branding, advertisements, brochures. Uh, we provide a lot of different content uh, from the marketing department to help you sell our products and market them effectively. And so you'll notice we have a lot of different co-branded materials. If you click on any one of these options, again, it'll just jump you to uh, that particular section. And one thing to note too is if you want to preview any, uh, any item that we have on any of these uh, pages, any of the downloads, if you simply click on the image next to the download, you'll be able to preview that download and uh, see what you can do with it. So for example, here we have a co-branded advertisement and we have the MacRare logo and we can co-brand it with your logo as well. And we do this uh, for just about anything. So we have advertisements here, uh, brochures, email templates, banners, and then we have a whole photo library as well. If you click here uh, to download more pictures on Dropbox, you'll see that we have a whole Dropbox dedicated to MacArare uh, photo content. And we also have some videos and an archive here with all of our videos listed on one page. And you can also uh, look at our testimonials and case studies which we're continually adding on to as well as trade shows. We have actually a trade show request form that'll help you uh, request assistance with trade shows such as uh, booth setups and uh, you know just requesting uh, any sort of assistance with trade shows, helping design the booth, etc. We also have white papers, which is more technical knowledge. And if I scroll back up to the top, and again, you can just click there, click uh, the menu option, which always follows you on the page to go back up to any section. Uh, branding is really important. If you need brand guidelines to help uh, outline how you, uh, you know, how you're designing things to incorporate the MacWare brand, this is really helpful. And then I'll uh, jump into technical support next. And technical support is a pretty short section right now, but we'll continually add on to it. Currently we have forms, support videos, and technical support documents. Uh, our forms right now incorporate a uh, field inspection form and warranty labor guide. And we have a few different support videos that'll help you uh, get started with installing fans and just uh, simple, you know, frequently asked questions. And we also have technical support documents, including install manuals, engineering drawings, and technical bulletins. And technical bulletins will send out uh, every so often in the form of a latest spin. And so that'll be anything related to product changes or um, you know product issues, anything like that. We'll keep you in the know on those. Now, the next thing I want to jump into is one of our sales tools, which is the quoting tool. It's our, uh, one of our most uh, frequently used tools and it helps you, uh, it helps you set up a quote uh, for your customers using MacWare fans and their pricing. On the My Quotes page, you'll notice that you have quite a bit of content on here and I'll help you navigate that. Um, at the very top, you can click New Quote to create a new quote. You also have a search option up here on the top right which allows you to search your previously created quotes. And here is the table with your previously created quotes. You'll be able to see who it's created by, the customer, the quote date, the status, whether it's complete or incomplete. And you'll be able to download the PDF, edit it if you have that option, and delete it as well. We also have the distributor discount option, which if you have a discount, then you'll see that percentage in, your, uh, in this area and also you can upload your own logo and set your default information. And setting your default information is important because this is the information that will show up on every quote. Uh, it'll tell people this quote is from uh, you know, whoever it is, in this case it's from me. So you want to set that information and, you can, and it'll pre-populate in every quote that you create. So to create a new quote, we'll create, click the uh, new quote button on the My Quotes homepage. And you can enter a quote date and you also have a, an option called distributor discount quote. And if you check this, it'll actually add uh, it'll add the net pricing for you as your as one of our distributors. So if you have a 40% discount, it will show all the pricing at 40%. Uh, otherwise, it'll show it at list price. So next, you'll want to enter the 
customer's information and when you do that it'll populate on the actual quote PDF when it's done. So we'll put all that information in there and then you can also enter optional project information that'll just help you uh, note that what the project is, the location, and if there's any architecture or engineering firms that are related to it. You also have to uh, write an introduction. Uh, it's, it's mandatory so you can write um, anything you want in that section just to let uh, the customer know um, any additional details or just to say, hey, thanks, here's your quote. When we continue on to step two, we'll be selecting our products. So this allows you to select macroware fans as well as all the options that are associated with those fans. When you scroll down and click on the select fan option, you have uh, all of our different fan options. Right now we'll quote a 370. Simply select the product that you want to quote and click add products and it will add it right below. You can also remove an item by clicking remove item. Now you want to select the quantity that you want as well as the, uh, the diameter and then from there you can add any applicable options so if we want to add in uh, voltage options, control options, uh, drop lengths, mounting hardware and then other miscellaneous options, powder coating, etc. So for this one we'll just add a drop length just to show you what that looks like. You also have the option to add custom options which is uh, you know any you can specify any price or uh, or type of option that isn't included in our quoting tool. Also note that you can change the pricing on any of this. This option is standard and so it's zero dollars but if you want to change the pricing of this you can do that uh, as needed and that will update uh, at the very bottom. So in our last step I'll show you really quickly how to add some additional information including uh, installation costs, financing, uh, and also how to add attachments. If you included a zip, a zip code on your original um, page, you can get in a shipping estimate. For ABD 370s, we only have UPS, so if you we selected uh, three 370s and we could use that estimate for the freight. You can also specify installation costs and notes. If you have local sales tax, you can include that information as well. And if you're trying to get a discount for yourself, you can also add in the additional discount field here, or you can just uh, leave that zero and it won't add anything on. You can also include service agreement, additional notes, and disclaimers. And a quote expiration date is always good practice to include, uh, and, and we'll just set this one to expire in 30 days. The last part will be attaching additional documents and financing. Uh, to attach additional documents, you'll want to um, look through the additional documents, see if there's anything that you want to add in there, uh, Airtron sell sheet, warranty, uh, you know, we can add in any one of these options. Uh, right now I'll add in like a little comparison that was pre-made on here. And you can also uh, select from the fan comparison tool if you've created any comparisons there. And also uh, AirViz simulations you can include as well. If you want to select more than one of these documents, simply hold Control or Command on a Mac and select multiple items. And then to unselect them, you just hold Control or Command and click on those options again. You can also attach the spec sheets for the fan models that you already selected. So for the 370, if we select this option, it will attach the spec sheet for the 370. You can also add a signature line. And then the last part is financing. If you check, click this checkbox, it'll add the, def the default financing options below. And these are just a few examples. Um, you can come to Air Academy to learn more about financing, and uh, I'll talk to you about that in just a bit. And then we have an older AirViz tool that you can uh, attach simulations from uh, if you'd like as well. So when we click Save, we're going to go back to our Quotes homepage. And from there, we can download the PDF, and you have options to either edit or delete uh, the quote that we just created. So as you can see, I have the option to edit or delete that quote. If you edit, it'll just go back to the first step and you can go through and adjust whatever you need to. So 
So after we download the quote, you'll be able to see who it's prepared for, who it's prepared by, your quote number, as well as an item summary with our line items, including the type of fan, quantity, price per unit, and total price. And then since we added in freight on there, you have the freight line item, plus the installation costs, and that gives us our grand total cost. And again, if you add in a discount, that'll be shown in here, and any additional notes will be added uh, right below grand total costs. And we also have our expiration date here at the bottom. You'll notice we check the, op uh, the financing options checkbox, and that includes a financing page with all of our uh, predetermined financing uh, options. And that's all reflected from the grand total price that you have up there based upon what you've selected. And we, it also included our AirViz report. As well as our AirVolution D370 spec sheet. And the fan comparison that we added in uh, from our additional documents. So that's just a quick overview on the quoting tool. Thank you for tuning in and watching our Distributor Portal webinar. To learn more about the Distributor Portal and its tools, such as AirViz, the comparison tool, be sure to register you and your colleagues for Air Academy through the Distributor Portal on the announcement section on the home page. If you scroll down, you'll see that right in the middle, and just click register now to register. And you can also connect with your regional sales manager to get more information on Air Academy. Thanks.